So hi everyone, good afternoon, and welcome to the fourth episode of Experience Talk. And thank you everyone for joining in. We really appreciate your time and commitment for attending this on a Sunday evening. And for Vikram, it might be Sunday night. I I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> He's from okay. US. Saturday, one thirty a.m. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And I hope your family is not killing you for this, because mine is for sure. Uh, and what what is experience talk exactly for all the new listeners we launched this podcast to help growth stage companies start their voc programs and in the last three episode we have discussed about what is voc why you should start a voc and how to kick off your voc and in the third episode we we talked about what is customer journey mapping and why it is important but on today's discussion we'll be sharing how we can actually run a workshop not just theory how to do it practically I I am Tanuj I am the head of product at Service Ensem and we have NK with us who is the customer experience head and today we'll learn about how to run a customer journey mapping workshop and uh, before we like begin and start doing this we want you guys to be a part of this workshop and acting as participants as I already told you so the uh, the overall uh, overall structure of the program is like we will go through some basic necessity steps that actually what is customer journey map is all about we will try to understand the basics out of it and then we're going to jump into the live actions and we will do a complete uh, exercise okay so allow me to share my screen and we're going to bring up a, a few slides that we can walk through so customer journey workshop we're going to talk about three steps objective preparation and live workshop so this entire program is going to be broken down into these three parameters our objective of today is to introduce customer journey mapping toolkit so that you get awareness about it learn how to run a workshop if you are if you are doing this for your within your organization you would understand how you do it and then learn how customer journey map helps like so these three criteria is basically building empathy and customer centricity in the organization that's the biggest point of this uh, uh this exercise and i mean we'll see that how actually it is happening right identifying the moment of truth so when the customers are traveling from your one touch point to another touch points where is that gap is we are able to find we, we will be able to find that out with this our exercise third but the most important thing is that it will give you to find an opportunities how you, we can delight our customer experience so this is preparation for the journey uh, workshop mm-hmm. so ideally in in the journey we have to make up our mind that if you, if you are going to launch something right if you want to run a workshop so you as a facilitator you want to make sure that this should run in an appropriate time frame with an appropriate agenda and then with an appropriate outcome out of it right so while we are running the customer journey map we have to make sure that we define the groups so generally the customer journey maps are been run in the groups of people it could be 4 to 6 6 to 8 but not more than 8 but if you have multiple team is a bigger organization enterprise level you want to capture multiple touch points or multiple uh, personas then you can create multiple groups and it it could be a really good uh, and great exercise and nk how uh, how big a, a group should be if if we talk about a big enterprise so so the bigger enterprise that i have worked with it's it's like gone to 24 where we have like defined like four groups for per mm-hmm. person there is a six round table okay so it could go up to that Uh, but it depends upon your business need and then mm-hmm. where you want to more focus on right and okay. uh, it could vary from that but ideally what i have seen it's more successful if you are having a group of four people or six people uh, mm-hmm. on one table running okay. this exercise for one persona okay. okay and moderate if we talk about the moderator it uh, is one or it can be more than that so if you have like up to 20 people it could be one moderator if you okay. have like more than one then it could be at least you need at least two moderators because moderator needs to put thorough attention that things are running appropriately so okay 10 to up to 20 people it's one moderator if you are going beyond 20 you have to make sure that you have at least like some supporting hands to moderator <laughs> like additional moderator for that yeah. right okay go ahead yeah so i think once you decide the participant list and uh, who they are who gonna be participate in this particular group make sure that you put this on the calendar often times we have seen that oh it's not happening it's a basic hygiene but this is really really important set mm-hmm. the clear objective what you going to do in this exercise business participant roles and actions so whenever we are saying that hey we want uh, the hr guy or like you know the 
the business guy or the product team make sure that they know that hey if they are just coming to do an exercise it's not a listening exercise it mm. it is some actions required from them and how they would know about it right and facilitator would define that what roles and actions they have to do if you have like any additional sometimes you uh, call an expert from outside and also mm-hmm. have a facilitator from your organization who support that entire exercise right okay and then you have a prep material so in the prep materials is basically some blogs videos research we we reference to the all the participant and the facilitator from the organization who can review it and understand that what exactly going to be there so they are actually not so completely blank into a new game that okay, okay. we'll just listen from the scratch zero mm-hmm. they can and often i've seen like even if you see it, send the materials where they, they don't read it <laughs> 20% people would say that you know i think i didn't get the time to do it there is a lot of pressure and this and that but at least you have like 60% or 70% person who has actually paid attention to that and mm-hmm. bring up those ideas because it is going to reduce the time uh, while you are doing this actual exercise mm-hmm. plus also bring in more ideas because they are already opened to their mind to the thoughts around it yeah. okay so so prep materials you mean to say that sharing something about customer journey mapping like how we'll run the workshop and all because they are if they are not aware of if they have never been a part of the workshop right yeah it's okay. it's a human tendency like we don't want to like come at the border and get the shoot right so you 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 should know that what what are you going into basically right got it okay so, um and then collect your research data and share with participant this is i have just made it a separate point here the reason mm-hmm. why because uh if you share the material that is fine but we also need to understand what is our business research is talking about because there mm-hmm. are some of the participant who are coming along into this exercise they are not very focused to those metrics or they don't have that insight that what is happening to our business metrics like for mm-hmm. example is is our app store rating what is the actual app app, app store rating is it like 3.2 or 3.5 where is that uh, is how many click hit ratio that we have in our website so they don't know probably right so we sharing us some research data that what we have collected to understand so that all the participant become on the same page that hey as an organization on this criteria where we are right now so basically a fact truth is required for that okay yeah. so you mean research data means all like previous survey data app store ratings and everything which is related to the customer journey objective that we are setting in right yeah absolutely so okay. if you have done any previous surveys research data and if you don't have any then probably do a secondary research got okay. uh, but you have to like like in the previous exercise that i have shared shared with you is that you have to uh do a little harder research love your customer a little bit more harder <laughs> all right so so make sure that you try to get to know where they are how they feeling as much as you could do before doing this exercise okay yeah. then the next step is like defining the customer persona that is the actor that is going to be in this workshop and definitely mm-hmm. we will just see that in our group who is going to take uh, this uh, role uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, will be like you know hero of our show okay okay and and in the workshop material this like this workshop material before 2020 before like this covid it has been mostly done offline uh, mm-hmm. and uh, it has been very very uh, like impactful because whenever you know that offline has a different level of impact and online has a different level of impact but we have as a human learned that like you know this is a new way to do it so that's why we are doing it online but offline if you're doing it um make sure that if you're on a small capacity maintaining social distancing so make sure that locations comfortable sitting capacity your laptops big screens to show wall charts pen papers markers glue stickers water snacks speakers mics all very very small elements but you should you have covered that and if you're doing online then if you're you can use like some uh, online tool uh, so that it has access to all the participant and you have a meeting tool called zoom you know that that can help you to leverage this exercise okay okay so um uh, the workshop is going to be divided into four different parts here so the first and most important is aligning everyone on the same page it seems a very simple task but let me tell you this is the most difficult task here uh, and once this is done everything just falls down the second step is actually doing customer journey mapping third is identifying an internal and external gaps and then fourth is generate ideas to delight customers 
I have given like some level of elements of time, 30 minutes, 90 minutes, 30 minutes and 30 minutes. Relax. We are not going to get, we are not going to take this much of time today. Okay. <laughs> we'll make sure that we do it like as soon as possible, but definitely it'll, I, I'm trying to do it within uh, 70 minutes, but let's see how it goes. Okay. And, uh, and, and okay, a question on this. Uh, so yeah. this, this is on the actual day, right? So the previous slide was all we, we sent to them previously before coming in on this workshop and this is on the actual day. Correct. Yeah. So okay. this is actually on the workshop day where, how are we gonna, you know, uh, do. So this is actually still for the facilitator to know, mm -hmm. to prepare himself that what I, what all things that he need to do that. Right. So these are the tasks that he should understand that these are the things that he will have to accomplish uh, during the workshop and okay. how much time it is going to take so he can mentally prepare for that. Right. And this is like this, this time varies if the number of participants is more, right? Because. Yeah. So this, the time that you're seeing on the slide right now, consider that it's a group of six to eight people. So okay. this is the ideal time for that. Uh, but it depends upon like, if you have a multiple group of people, then this time could vary. But I, okay. I would say that we should just keep like four to six people of time, uh, four to six people of group and put this in the ideal time frame. Just make okay. sure that things are not like stretching, uh, too more. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Today's scenario. So just wanna, before we jump into this, we just wanna like make sure that to, what is the today's scenario is that today's we are taking a fictional story of an SS international hotel located in Scotland. And uh, the hotel business goal is to become a number one choice for international tourists. An okay. operational goal is increasing social ratings, increase overall CSAT and NPS, increase word of mouth and provide a best in class customer experience. Because if you, if they do all these operational goals, they will be much closer to becoming a number one choice of international tourism. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the persona, the actor that we're going to take this uh, time is an international traveler from India who's actually planning his trip and uh, to, to SS International Hotel that is stated in there. And we'll see how he does his journey uh, from A to B. I will not <laughs> tell what is going to be between A to B. We will find it out. Okay. Okay. All right. Step one. So aligning everyone on the same page, this set the workshop tone to be empathetic with customer journey and be in the customer shoes throughout. So that's the first thing that we need to say, how do you do this? So, so doing this, you can, so what I have done, like we, we can run some videos, like some mm -hmm. empathetic videos that emotions coming out of all the participant and they feel like in it because like, that's, that's the, another way. And there are a lot of leaders, they do it uh, in a different way. They run some quizzes, they, you know, they just play a game or there's a lot of exercise you can find uh, on that. So that is the first way to, to make sure that everybody understand why we are here, why we are in this room. We are in this room is because we want to make sure to delight our customer, right? right? That, that's the goal that everybody should have, whoever it is, right? So be it a, be it a product, be it a marketing, be it a sales. Uh, be a support support staff. Everyone wanna have single goal that I want to see a smile on my customer face. That's that's the goal is. Okay. Second, finalizing the user persona. Why it means like you might ask me a question again. You are talking about the persona. Yes, the mm -hmm. reason is you want to feel that persona now. Okay. Right. So so you wanna feel that persona. Who that persona is because in your in your organization there could be multiple journeys, multiple. Right type of persona, you define that who the person we going to pick it up. So you can define the teams that this particular team going to talk about, you know, persona A, this team is going to talk about the persona B. So if you have two different teams, you can do that way. And yeah. in today's uh, session, we are talking about an international traveler from India, right? That would be our user persona. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And we'll deep dive into it, NK, right? <laughs> That's the plan. Okay. Yeah. So the next is share the research findings, describing known pain points and act of delight. And guys understand in the previous slide, we were just aware that what we need to do, and this is what we are actually doing it on that particular day. So sharing the research findings, and it could be, these are the research that we will take account into our exercise. So okay. the, the findings are review on trip advisors are low. That is 3.9. 
for SS International Hotel. Mm -hmm. Our own website traffic is 1500 hits per day. Ranking on third party websites is not great. International tour travelers, like, you know, our numbers are very low. Like, you know, okay. they get very low number of people who travel from internationally. And majority of booking that they have found is all the business trip. Okay. So mm -hmm. these data has been come out from that research. And okay. uh, we will be focusing on these research. And then we'll see that how actually, when we go into our customer persona, uh, customer journey, then see how we can resolve these issues and what else we could find it out, okay? Okay. So next is the role play. Uh, so role play is basically an actor. So, um, and there is a moderator and we are taking a hotel general manager, uh, a digital marketing uh, team, a digital marketing manager, uh, a person who is a food and beverage manager and a housekeeping staff manager. So I think like Tanuj, you may wanna yeah. help me sure. to align uh, some of the uh, role model for all of right. us. So I think yeah. who's going to be actor. Okay. So for, first of all, Vikram, you, you had a question before, right? Who are, all will be the participants, right? So generally the participants will be all the people who will be a part of one touch point in the journey. So for example, if we are talking about a journey of uh, a product, so product starts with uh, first someone comes on the website. So a marketing guy and uh, is responsible for it. Or if not, not just on the website, but if they are researching about a pain point or something. So a marketing guy or a content guy is definitely required. Then when it comes to the product, a product guy is required, a UX person is required. And then there is a financial guy is required that how a checkout is done in a product. So there are around three or four people definitely required depending on the kind of journey that you are picking in. So for a SaaS product, it will be a marketing manager, it would be a salesperson, it would be a product guy, it would be a support guy, right? And then it will it a beat if it's a B two B, then there will be a customer success guy as well, right? So there will be five people who will be joining in. So one point I would add this: so whenever we take people out of these group, right, actor who's gonna be more like hotel general manager or digital marketing team, so the question would be who from the digital marketing team would join this session? Is this a team leader can join it or like the person who is like uh, the head of digital marketing team should join it? Who is going to join it, right? So that that is always a question whenever we do this exercise. So the, the owner says that the person who is very close to the customer and are influencer for your decision should be part of this exercise. But always a decision maker should also be a part of this exercise. Right. That's the main objective. If decision maker is not in this group, then exercise results would not be that like fruitful. So person who is handling front face and the person who is actually a decision maker should be a part of that. Okay. okay. So if you, ha if you have uh, a digital uh, marketing team and influencer, great. Food and beverages managers, it could be like main manager who is actually taking day to day care. Housekeeping mm -hmm. staff, you can pick up uh, the the person who's actually you know hands-on experience, who's actually doing it, because that person would give you much more, because that person is very close to the customer, right? Because okay. your ratings, your feedbacks, actually coming from them, whatever mm -hmm. interaction is happening with them, right? So that's that's okay. very very important. All right, customer journey mapping. This is the actual chest of the heart, right? So we want to make sure that when we do this get familiar with CJM. CJM is actually customer journey toolkit. It could be online and offline. So when you are actually as a facilitator, you are aware, you are there uh, offline, then you have to make sure that get everybody know that what exactly the CGM toolkit is about. Well, how does it look? What all things that you need? What is the persona and what is journey map is? So I think that uh, we have covered a persona very detailed in our previous exercise um, and journey map also, but just wanted to give you that persona is your main actor, journey map that will prepare that. The journey that he travels, that actor. The journey right? that he travels. Yeah. Right. Second point, design customer persona. So in this exercise, like, like you may ask me a question that, um, uh, why don't we just go directly and build that customer journey map, right? Because we already know that the persona is an actor. Right. Uh, and he is an uh, uh, international traveler. Uh, from India who wants to go to Scotland, what else we need to know? I mean, that, that's, that's good enough, right? It means now we can just go and just build the map. Right. Uh, but 
the thing is here that like as of now still are you guys still feeling that you are that customer persona really from the heart not right now not right so that is the reason that you have to design means like you have to uh, like uh, feel that customer persona so sometimes like when we do an offline exercise we always <laughs> we bring like you know your uh, like luggage and everything your like your ticket pass and everything so that it feels all realistic that you are actually you know doing it so okay. you have to have you have to have feel the actual stuff because it's a visualized mm. exercise right mm. so in terms of when we do uh, like uh, uh, like a a a store uh, exercise then we actually built up that particular store a person came in buy something and then we explain okay. that so actually it's a complete visual impact and that is why you need to design the customer persona and we will do it okay okay and if it if i talk about a b2b company or a b2c any any app kind of thing so in this feeling the persona they they just have to use the app or the product at that time to so get so used yeah, to it so hmm. correct so first of all on on uh, if if it is an app reviews like it's a app performance customer journey Mm-hmm. then in that situation it could be like you know we have to understand who the customer is and you feel like it right, right. and then you have to have a devices different devices like you know uh, today's like apple or android and then if you're using a, a desktop or like a laptop in a different browsers and what not like all so those, depending on the application and how the, the user wants to the user actually use it uses it yeah okay correct yeah the next element goes like start mapping customer journey and i think like don't get bored we are almost there <laughs> <laughs> all right so starting start mapping customer journey is actually on the stages so it goes on horizontal and actions goes bottom to the actions where we add uh, uh, how they feel about it right map whatever you know uh, for each block as best as you can and if any blocks are empty that's fine that's not in, not an issue and uh, we'll just validate with uh, uh, like in you know, a lot of Uh, colleagues we are here so who have actually actually traveled then we'll just make sure that is this mapping how this these things are going and are you really feeling it about how, like so it's all that about reality feeling emotions needs to be tracked up on the journey map stage okay, okay. so uh, i think step 3 and step 4 goes beyond the customer journey mapping uh, so we probably may not be uh, covering this into our today's exercise Mm-hmm. uh because we will be just finalizing stuff uh so these exercises you could do post journey workshop so identify your external touch point problems where customer is in touch like booking site reception room cafe pool etc or identifying internal touch point problems and then vote on most impactful pain points that you have identified during this journey once you do that then you want to generate ideas to address most voted pain points Mm-hmm. validate with additional research that what you are doing is right and then put an action planning assign an ownership measure an impact review and iterate that's a part of your voice of custom program okay awesome so any question uh, i think the voting part uh, nk you you talk mm-hmm. about in the previous part that you said voting is required uh, yeah. w- why did you say that so voting is basically reason is that when you do this exercise there will be lot of ideas will come in mm-hmm. you will be overwhelmed with those ideas right but how do you prioritize those ideas how do you concentrate on the ideas that the hit where you action first to get the result right mm-hmm. ultimately you have to take all of them into the consideration but it's always says that like you know the the lower hanging fruits what you are going to say that what is the outcome of this entire exercise so entire exercise you need to have like top 2 top 3 or top 4 activities that need to be acted upon right okay while you could have like you know 20 elements found but mm-hmm. all the 20s we cannot work you have to prioritize them and always make sure that you build it up for the top top 3 top 4 elements Okay. To see the results and then review and iterate on that. So, so everyone who's there in the workshop is going to vote on uh, pick up the ideas that come in or the pain points that come in. They are going to pick up all. Okay, I'm. We are going to work on these uh, pain points. So, kind of like democracy here will work. So, um, yeah, yeah. should we prioritize based on the voting from the group, or should we actually just validate uh, all those ideas first with additional research and customer interviews, and then prioritize? 
very valid question. So first of all, the valid, you have to uh, get the voted pain points from the users who have been actually been the part of it because with that what you get is actually a emotional like which one thinks like is a high impact on the emotion customer journey always gives you the results that is impacting high emotion because when, when we talk about the customer experience we are less talking about the revenue that is our business metric we are mostly talking about our customer metric where how much they have felt it whether this person is going to return to us or not so that's the most important that is why we say that like when you do what it vote on that you vote on those ideas that has come up out of that exercise during those people because they are right now in the customer shoe so basically it is the other way around that it's the customer that is telling you that hey you know i think this is my top priority this is my top priority but when you bring up those idea and bring it to the table to the business and say that hey you know these are my things then you would discuss that um these are my priorities and then you have to take action which is the quick fix or if it is a budget required for that to fix right if somebody says that oh uh, the network is not working in this area you can't just bring you know another network uh, tower into that area because the huge cost involved that you cannot fix that that's okay. that's a very common problem so you have to uh, just to address your question is like pick up the most uh, important points that has more emotional attachment but when you bring it to the table there will be a validation about that which one we can win early so that is also very important so you have you can draw a map and we can do an, another exercise to see the uh the task and impact which has the higher impact and lowest in, effort in yeah lower lower effort so okay that that the, how the priority of the task can be done okay how often we should do a customer journey mapping when we were preparing for it i asked you the same question and <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay great so a uh, customer journey mapping exercise is a great exercise when you want so there are two type of customer journey mapping one is the current stage journey mapping and one is the future stage journey mapping all right so current stage journey mapping is when you want to do it is to improve your performance because you are looking at your voc voc like you you are you are capturing your csat surveys you are you know having your call center governance uh, culture in place but still things are not not happening right good then this is the toolkit that helps to identify more vulnerability to the situation to understand what exactly is happening and that is where you do it right and once you do it you will always have some resultant output what exactly actions needs to take on and then you measure it and if you provide that successful you pick up another person or do it or you can iterate that same person to the next level like like for example if you see that the uh, user journey is been constantly evolving right so if you're looking looking at the learning module uh, like learning capability of uh, the users 20, before 2020 it was completely different now in 2020 it is different and i'm sure like you know 2022 it is going to be completed even i can't imagine that how we're going to learn things uh, being online what what different mm-hmm. tools uh, uh, need to learn my daughter like i think she knows more tools than me you know on on the learning apps now these days because she has been just con- constantly pushing on that thing so the the journey has been evolving and we have to be uh, like you know looking our eyes on the market and making sure that if there is any switch and gear is happening then you should do it on the current stage journey mapping okay the second is the future stage journey mapping so future stage journey mapping has been done uh, by the organization in a stipulated time i have seen like yearly they have done it uh, mostly to define that because that's a year of time would they want to make sure that to measure and uh, action something and see the result out of it so future stage journey you envision that what is going to happen in near future so if you look at the 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 guys who have already done the future journey mapping and being a digital first in last year they have already reap the benefit in in, in 2020 okay. yeah so so you mean to say like in any years time we should do it no it should, should not be a regular exercise see it depend upon the so i would say year time is a good bandwidth uh, where it will give you ample amount of time to do actions in, in on what you have right. already found it out right mm-hmm. i don't want to do it like every 6 months and make it a festival right <laughs> so uh, yeah means like it's so so it so basically it's not uh, an activity just to do it draw it and put it on the board somebody comes in and see it that yes we are right. doing it no it's not that way so it's basically is a 
is an exercise that should be an insightful and actionable on that right because it is right. going to add up a value to your entire voc program so right. if you don't have a voc program uh, design it will actually help you to boost that yeah. up and Got then it. you take action and then you do it you don't have to just like okay like a quarterly festival or like you know every so season. so basically you mean to say that we do it uh, and then we perform some actions on it and measuring the impact of those actions can take up to an year so better to do it after an year that's what you want to do in a summary right okay yeah absolutely okay thanks mk yeah let's go ahead <laughs> all right i think uh, i just want to make sure that you realize with like you just get yourself with this particular image if you're seeing focusing on the screen right now is actually there are uh, how many pair of shoes are there you know can you see that yeah yeah so uh, i think two two or three <laughs> and and we have often seen that right like kids try to be you know being in the other shoe right yes so, so currently we are the kids customer experience is in our blood right so we right. have been doing that but the problem is that if you look at that this is not so, so easy job right being in the customer shoe is not an easy job we, it takes effort but if you do it from the heart it is very easy because the kid do it very emotionally right hmm. they don't think that it is a big shoe or a small shoe it is like uh, my mom's uh, shoe or my you know younger brother shoes or my dad's shoe or whose shoe, shoe it is right they just find that if this is the persona this is the shoe they they take it from heart and they just try it and be be in the shoe so i just want to make sure that like whoever you are keep it aside be the actor today of today's persona right. okay so all right i think let's get into the customer shoe now all right so the first step uh, if you have remembered all the steps now the first thing is what we're going to do uh, tanush you remember user persona got it so let uh, yeah i think um, Great. It's time now. <laughs> It's time now. Let's do that. So we have to design uh, the the user customer persona. Right. And now, guys, this, as I'm a facilitator on this call today, um, you will be sharing information and being pro like you know being talking uh, throughout the conversation, and I'll be managing the entire uh, journey because generally the exercise when you do it, like you can just do uh, manually, you can put it and write it. That's more mm -hmm. effective. Uh, and we wanted to do it like. give access to all of you but it wouldn't happen in that way so uh, uh, in today's session what we're going to do is that you will share your opinions talk about okay. it uh, and i'll put it down so we'll just give we will make it time bound activity and then when i'll sure. just jump to the customer journey i'll share that to you yeah okay so so the most important thing another is here is that whenever we creating our persona personas look so inspirational that we get attracted to right that's another hmm. reason that why we uh, we create that persona and i named that persona by john doe because we didn't know that like who is going to take uh, uh, take up that role here so uh, but as we have now we'll just change it and i uh, it's very difficult but may i ask your age 42 Is it double N A or single N A? Is this right? Single N. That's okay. Single. Whatever. No, 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 no. That is here. Yeah. So, so look at this. How, that is I'm, I. I ask this question specifically because you have to understand your persona so much that you know exactly. It's not assumption. There is no assumption about it. Doing this exercise is that criteria only that you have to know your persona so much that you care about that. it's a male it's a female which part of india where what he does and what not if right. i have to do this exercise outside i could have done that and by myself and just written it down right i am done with that but being in the criteria being in the group when you define your and you just basically you know design your persona sometimes like they they create this so i wanted this is a traveler so yeah. i want to just make sure that to pick up the image that has a backpack because that emotionally put you inside the story out of it right i mean that's that's the agenda of it right okay so you said 42 2 two. Two. um uh, so the next thing is that what type of person you are right so so basically uh, kind of uh, like i picked up this for uh, tanuj so he and you know i like try to paint the picture behind him so he uh he is kind of an adventurous person like adventure uh and you know hiking and what not 
so so basically uh, he he loves natural places um and you know trekking swimming in cold water specifically <laughs> uh play with snowfall collect leaves of different regions like uh, whenever you go and uh, drive is like another crazy craziness that he has like driving on the international road trips so you would want to add these elements of of your persona that who that person is and then you try to put him right so let me uh, let me do this way so uh, you define yourself uh, uh, prasanna yeah uh, i'm an adventurous guy only so that suits very well and <laughs> okay so what in the descriptions do you like swimming in cold lake <laughs> i'm a, a nature lover basically okay. and i like to drive uh -huh. so very very exhaustively i do i like to drive and okay. i would like to have a, a sense of smell the natural smell that is very much more important this is nice mm -hmm. this is nice and travel to different places within the city like to identify what is special within the location where i am planning to visit okay got it so so this is something for like everyone who's who will be participating this is how you have to think currently we have prasanna but actually how we make a customer persona is asking them these things that's how we actually make a customer persona i think the product people would definitely know it uh, so we we have to ask these questions to them then only we can make a persona otherwise it will not make sense if everything is about secondary research it doesn't make sense yeah so okay. validate you 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 would have some assumptions about your persona always right but it it it, it always makes sense to have that valid check with with the actual persona who has done it right. um and then go on that right so that that is very very important aspect of this uh, particular exercise guys so right. i'm just going to like speed up because i just i just want to make sure that we are uh, like appreciate yeah. everybody's time as well so right. uh the objective here was is like visit the natural beauty of europe can you can you just write area. goal at the top here uh, i think yes. uh, it, it has been removed so yeah. yeah yeah so so the goal for the persona was is is actually not was is mm -hmm. visit the natural beauty of europe within the allocated budget and time so he has like certain amount of budget and certain amount of time frame like you know 15 days of time that he want to travel so that was okay. the that was the uh, goal persona goal of that person and uh, the quote for his that life is all about working hard and travel the world and explore the natural beauty created by quote so actually i have added a quote here the reason is why i added the quote because when you when you ask somebody that like you know what is the one quote that defines you that gives you the emotional factor out of that person how he defines himself so actually i i did this questioning to tanuj before uh, preparing this so i got this out from out from that right okay and uh, you also add up some backgrounds like you know uh, the gender of the person where he belongs to whether he's married what roles responsibility his like salary or any additional field that you would want and uh, understand about like his motivations motivations and frustrations these two are like most important thing because whenever you are working with not only in any organization uh, you are always working with people right so people are the actual customers right those are the people actually who is paying to your business right so you really need to know that what is their motivations and what is their frustrations are what do you like so i need to understand that what are likes of my customer he likes so so as a local flavor of food so local flavor of food okay local food you can say local food um, then all right I like to do okay. local commutation i like to do the local commutation okay so if you go to some kind of uh, like in you know, cities you will find the commutation is not by car or not by metro or whatever that is a local commutation so you like that obviously right. got it so, so, so look, yeah great so that is slightly different like when i spoke to tanuj he said he wanted to drive only by his own and then you like local commute so 
if i know about specifically about you that i know understand hey you know my persona is always trying to travel by local commute then right. my strategies is going to be with regards to that so in my hotel do i provide information about all local commutes and if if i'm looking at the person who is drive by car it's a one step process for you know getting the rental car right something like that okay we will we'll deep dive into it and um, like couple of more things that you can deep and you can be deep as much as you would like to so what type of communication does he do like is it just english hindi or multi language Uh, what he is actually passionate about it he is like you know his his compassion is what what all about compassion is in a hard he likes a hard worker or what not and what type of technologies does he use uh, what type of like music does he listen so these are the things like you know you can add it we we don't feel like why we are asking these questions but these questions help you to understand the sentiment of that persona and wherever you are able to relate that and you can okay. always add up some clippings and pictures i definitely recommend that to paint the picture because a single uh, picture paints a lot so if i look at earlier you said that you like nature right but when i uh, you know get a picture from you that what exactly you like then you send me this particular picture where it completely i can you know imagine that what kind of nature you would want right mm. and then how how you want to like you know enjoy that place so don't go for brands and love local and be authentic elements about it right so i think okay. uh, that that's all we, we would want to capture and make sure that these are my persona and keep it in mind this is my persona then we'll move into ourselves into the customer journey or uh, uh, mapping of this exercise any question uh, guys no nk okay. okay great let's move into the journey map i'm just going to talk about like very key things that you should be aware of while doing this journey map because uh, certain things you would find similar but what you need to take most action about it right so journey map is very simple at the top you have the stages and in the in the vertical you have like you know the goals actions and emotional journey okay so now as we have taken this example that how many stages we should have that's the first question we always ask in the customer journey map right so here what we have got is like desire of the customer mm-hmm. research a planning then how he does the booking then how he arrive to the hotel or what is the experience during accommodation maybe doing some nutrition and then using some services provided by hotel and then how does he check out and then at the final like you know any feedback collection mechanism that you if you had if you had that touch point right so if you look at there are many touch points and it's like more deeper level right, right. and uh, the more deeper you will go the more richer you will inside get right so mm-hmm. it depends upon the time also that how much time we have in the plan to to complete this exercise and also like how much we do it some people just combine it some people say that uh let's do uh, why do we need desire um it's like why can't we just start with the research um i i i get this question and uh, sometimes i get question is that uh, why do you have a planning why don't you just go to research and then book plan why do you mm-hmm. need a planning um and then uh, people ask me question that uh, why do we have a uh, a nutrition as a separate and versus like you know services as a separate why don't we combine that yeah thank so, you for for this workshop actually we can combine these things right we can combine research and planning otherwise like th- this will take a lot of time uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 definitely it's a time thing act- time taking activity guys i i mm-hmm. i can totally understand i think that we can cover like top 3 uh, and then uh, then we can take about that because the objective of this exercise is just to give you insights at how you fill it right. what type of emotions that you need to have in while you are feeling it and then mm-hmm. what results will get out of this right so while okay. you feel the first two and third pillar you will actually get into the shoe so guys uh, but before uh, going into the depth of it tanu chawana answer your question that uh, can we combine research and planning yes right. and no there is a there is a implication of it right so you need to understand so if you combine this you are actually listening to both of them separately when you 
separate the dist distance between the touch points, you are actually going deeper to each of the attachments. Like I'll tell you that if you do the research, you research that how's the budget, how's the travel option, when the best time to go, you know, countries you like, you know, to cover, mm. uh, do I need a visa for that? You know, all of these things that you do in the research, but in okay. the planning, you are actually getting the budget. How do you get this budget? If the budget is high visa, what the process, is? how did you went through the visa process? Because that will change your emotions because specific country people say that like traveling to Europe is not easy because visa is so stringent. No, that's right? okay. So I understand your point. Yeah. So if we are actually doing uh, this journey mapping, we should take care of all the stages so that we can improve better and make ev every touch point better. Yeah. But for this exercise, let's, let's take like only four or five uh, total points so that we can uh, quickly get a glimpse of it. Everyone wants to get a glimpse of it. I don't think anyone is from a, uh, currently from a hotel industry. <laughs> So I think they'll be, everybody will be making their own. Yeah, everybody yeah. is visited hotels. So let's do desire. So what is the goal for uh, one? Why do you want to explore Europe? What is the traveler's goal? So want so, to explore Europe. Tanuj, go for that. I think I'm just list, I will just listen one by one to everyone. Sure. And and we cannot ask Prasanna because he's the actual customer to say anything right now, right? It will be just the internal team discussing about it. Correct, NK? No, no, he can be participated. If you participating that he can say that that's fine. We will just okay. validate with him. Like if all things looks good and if you want to add anything more. Okay. Got it. So traveler goals want to explore Europe. Okay. In terms of goals. Yeah. Uh, ne uh, want to see I, I just, I, I just want to like get from everyone. So got it. it's a group exercise, right? So I think okay. like you have said that want to explore go. Yeah, next, I think, uh, uh, Atul, what do you say that? What would, what is the travel goal? Uh, let you know. Okay, so Europe might be in my bucket list to cover. So that's why I'm going to Europe. Okay. Okay, what else? Anyone else want to add? Make my business successful. Make my business successfully. Did I capture it right? Okay. What else? I think that's it. Let's move to the touch points. NK. Awesome. So uh, now, while you have this desire, why do you have this desire? Like, you know, wh why behind it? Like, what, what, what mm. take? What makes you to? Um, what makes the customer to desire about this? Okay, so if we talk, take into Prasanna's shoes, fascination about natural beauty is perfect. And uh, seeing this from Instagram pictures, that would be my touch point. Okay, Instagram inspired. Yeah. What else? Manisha? Manisha, why do you want to go? Why do you think the... Prasanna wants Europe... to go. Yeah. Yeah. His, uh, his friends have been there before. So he wants to see what this uh, they saw, probably. Friends pictures, maybe. Yeah, friends pictures. Okay. What else? What are the touch point? Yeah, so the question here is that like, why you have, a, so people say that I have a desire of this. My customer mm. has a desire of this. But the question is that, Understanding the why behind that desire. So that was in the goal and the touch points will be where, from where did he get that despair or inspiration, I would say. Correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I think like that. Twitter and all these other social media channels as well. Hmm. Word of mouth. Yeah. Word of mouth. Mm -hmm. Word of mouth. Yeah. Great. All right, so I think uh, that's great. I think we'll just uh, move uh, next bucket here is about process. So while you got this, uh, why why it came into your inspiration? Like, you know, why did you get fascination about it? Because you have been following Instagram like on a day-to-day -day basis. Right. Or like Tanuj said that he wanted to meet Simran <laughs> uh, once he saw that movie. Uh, what was like? 
Instagram hashtags, I would say, uh, hashtag Europe, hashtag Scotland, these kind of stuff. Okay. Maybe some marketing or uh, some kind of offers. Offers, like tour offers. So uh, if I may add NK, so these are all verticals starting from first is the goal that why desire comes in. The second is touch point, how actually yeah. or, and where this desire yeah. came in. And the yeah. process is like, uh, uh, we got to know word of mouth, but what was the process that he was speaking about something with their friends about Europe and that was the process of word, word of mouth. Yeah. Am I correct? What, correct, correct. In the process, you can say actions. If I can just uh, elaborate a little bit more here, this could be your actions also. You can say okay. describes interactions uh, basically, um, you know, and uh, your touch points is basically mm. how you are connecting mm. between between uh, one places to another places or understanding why why you are connecting. Okay, got it. Yes, and okay. then. The fourth is another vertical experience. Fourth is trying to understand that while the desire is that like, what was you feeling like, you know, because when you fascinate about things, but obviously you feel like actually like, you know, just top of the world that it's everything going great. Mm -hmm. And you always go to London in your dreams, right? Like in that, in that way, we can say that. So here you can just uh, measure uh, the experience. You can, I think there are a lot of tools available. You can play around with that, like, you know, and then you can change. Uh, the motivational impact of the customer. So this is uh, the emotional uh, journey like, at that touch point, right? The emotional uh, experience. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we are just making sure that what was the emotional uh, experience of that customer during that particular journey that, stage. Is okay. Got it. Stage. And if you see that, I think I haven't gone through the search and planning, but if you look at in this journey, back, if the gap is like so huge that it assists to you know, pensiveness, like it was like a jump of like, what uh probably like some people and it's 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 true also like you know you you plan about going london but then when you just start doing some research and planning then you quit that oh i don't want to go there and then you change that you change the location or you change something else right you don't go there and it, it if you look at the reports it's always seen that how many people have like you know put a desire to visit a tourism and how many people have reached out that so there is very very less mm -hmm. on that I think if, if you, even if you you take yourself as an example, how many times you plan it, and then how many you how many times you just reach out to there Actually after your research and planning. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So okay. that's the variation, but we will just talk about it. Um, the next element is storyboard. I have already just added some pictures, so I think we are good on that. But storyboard is basically just giving a pictural emotional view of the customer how uh, he thinks, you know, while while thinking about it. So desire is just like sitting and then enjoying partying you know having you know uh, drinks and all of that so you can and for you yourself if you're dreaming you just can drive cars you know your right. bugatti you know sitting you know uh, with your friends and stuff like that so so yeah i mean like that's the way and uh, prasanna can uh, prasanna can design something else you know that from his his perspective that how he want to spend okay. his uh, entire journey right okay and uh, again I like the code selections. Code selection gives you like, you know, while the desire that you had, what was your feeling? One word, like one quote, how do you define your experience? Hmm. Okay. Let me ask, let me ask Prasanna, like if, if you have to define one word or like one quote in your desire, when we actually planning for your trip, what was one thing that can describe that entire feeling of yours? Mm, I would say, mm. Can it say? <laughs> experience and uh, how would I put it in one word? In one word so or one sentence? You could say as like experience and the people connect, people co connecting with me, people connection. I would say. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it is hard to sign, right? And I think mm -hmm. this is an exercise. Like uh, that is why it's very, very difficult to understand from customer point of view how does. And that is why the code selection is there because if you look at that uh, for ourselves, we when we do this exercise, we feel hard that to 
what exactly the feeling of the customer is what the one word or one quote that would define the uh, feeling of that customer is okay so john doe's pain points so now uh, so during the Prasanna's desire i don't prasanna do you had any pain points in in the desire in just mm-hmm. making up uh, the dream there was anything or no you are on mute prasanna the effort required i really don't know how much effort which is required to reach my goal or to visit this country yeah yeah i think that will come into the research and planning uh, when when you actually do it but while you were just thinking of it like did did was there any problem was there any issue no right because there won't be no because it's, it was all, it was all you right <laughs> it was all you so there is no problem so uh, generally that is the reason that uh, we had the highest level of the feeling uh, at the first level itself emotion right um and uh, the points of delight was that what like you know very excited to to very excited something new very excited and something new exploring something new okay. absolutely and okay. then i think uh, we'll look at the problems and uh, ideas later uh, because this is something that once you understood then you try to as a business user when you group as a state together understand hey do we see in this there is any problem or <laughs> do we get any idea so like for example i wanted to cover this one so if you look at this one what some problems that i have probably got that my ratings are low on the trip advisors and we are not on the instagram all right. right our presence is not in instagram however these desires are been developed by looking at the pictures on the instagram absolutely right mm-hmm. so something that i would say hey you know um to be on instagram so i may add this mm-hmm. right so this is just one thing that i read but once you completely do this you will find an exploratory way ideas to do that and now it's a business decision that whether we want to be on instagram or not that's another way to look at that and that's the yeah. decision will be made on that right so okay. we'll have to do voting on that hey you know i think should we invest on instagram marketing and how much value it will come are we going to get any roi out of that right so that all those questioning will come when you put that onto your priority list do right. you really care about increasing the desire to mm. europe because your hotel is here is that something that you want to do as a business right. right because if you want to increase your customer base if the desire is not there in the people how they will be your customer so creating a need is another way to look at to increase your business so that okay. is where that we do in the desire of spoke so the problem is here that uh, we are not on instagram right yeah and and like how we can so we we just like problem like how we can create more customer base right hmm how we can create more customer more desire not just customer base how can Haan. we create desire and, and, right and yeah and yeah like you know uh, hmm. more, my thought was like how we can create more customer like uh, who are visiting instagram that was one thing and i think like tanuj you said is uh, create a uh, more desire exactly. to visit uh, europe or scotland yeah. specifically yeah. right yeah you'll, you'll have to fix the spelling of desire you are so much into design these days nk okay? <laughs> 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 you always talk about design yeah create more desire to visit europe uh, i think europe is yeah and uh, in the ideas there are so many things can come create click beautiful pictures hire a photographer right things like yeah, this yeah, what would yeah, will yeah, come yeah. in the ideas and all the team will vote on it that what is the best and the least cost and least effort thing right correct correct and this, and oh. now if you look at like the ideas are coming only from one pillar absolutely now if we talk about every pillar there will be like thousand of ideas coming in and then we'll have to pick uh, and choose correct so you that's where voting is required that. yeah yeah and then you will just you will also try to relate a relationship between mm-hmm. uh what is impacting your overall business right so right. if you look at if you remember that in our frictional story what we have said that our 
hit ratio to our website is just 1500 per month mm. right because there is no much of desire to that particular area uh, we are right. are we generating enough and you do the business and i think like you can just say that um yeah i think like that how many people are visiting the websites of europe and how many people as an overall increasing mm. uh, reach uh, going to europe basically right it's it's an increment of overall business to europe and but mm. obviously that will come to you that is one option to take a look on that another option is that if you took if you're taking a look of a competitive age that uh, the people are already coming to europe but not coming to my hotel right so that is something what is the reason behind it you will try you will find that out into the Got latter it. stages of the uh, pillar okay okay all right great so on the research and planning uh, going back that uh, when you do the research i just added like budget uh, and I, like find it out like my budget is around uh, 100 uh, k for this right uh, for the entire budget travel options uh, is like uh, personal hotel so this is the in in the research and planning phase uh, like uh, prasanna is actually i'm i'm not asking prasanna i'm just being in his shoes so mm-hmm. uh, prasanna is just looking out what is the best time to go what are the countries that he should cover uh, which visa he would want to need right so these are the kind yep. of inputs that uh, the team will be giving in right so he wants to understand the visa part he wants to understand which country he wants to visit he in his allocated budget right yeah uh, so manisha atul you want to add anything in this i would just validate just, this I'm with prasanna later yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i'm just adding just interest of time uh, but the when you do at this exercise it actually is a combination like it's a group exercise and everybody put their put their thoughts so what else guys is missing in the research and planning when you do for uh, you know uh, international okay. trip if you want to do prasanna that prasanna is doing it Uh, i think yeah prasanna and i'll keep prasanna, on prasanna you are, yeah prasanna you are already doing it right so uh, you are already you already planned right so what else that you would think of while you doing your and i would want manisha and atul to answer and prasanna will just validate can you yeah. Yeah. Hmm? manisha he sorry he said he like look food options is one thing food options foodie All right. Okay. What else? Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, you yeah. can. Okay. So I, I was just saying. Oh, I I forgot. So I was just saying that whether it's going to be family trip or it's going to be fr- friends trip only. So from that point of view, like so is it going to be like, family? So, yeah, yeah. So you, so a very great question on this one. So you have to relate and with the persona, who the persona is. Persona is married or not? Mm-hmm. so person is married right so it will be a family trip because he will go along with family so you can consider that and but can go prasanna, but prasanna said that it's a business trip so you'll have to check with that prasanna that hey you know is it kind of a business trip or me time trip just enjoy holidays <laughs> so <laughs> you have to check who the persona is so so in this persona if we are talking about a family man and he is doing a family trip then we'll talk about the family part and if yeah. the persona is about uh, uh, the same person but he's he wants to do business trip then we'll talk about the business trip part but in our scenario we are talking yeah. about uh, traveling right not business yeah. yeah so you can remove that uh, nk in our persona we are currently talking about uh, international traveler business local rules and regulations yeah understand local rules and regulations yeah very good awesome yeah that's important all right yeah and i think like i'm just trying to finish it up but uh, there are <laughs> much more <laughs> for Hello. i have traveled internationally but it's not that complete exhaustive list so don't carry it no. uh, get carried away and k <laughs> 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 so let's move to the touch points yeah now the the touch point is that while doing this research and planning hmm. how you did this like what touch points do you use so we just added like couple of them here is uh, like uh, calling a phone a friend who is actually living in europe right just trying hmm. to get some information and understanding you know what the cost looks like and what not and then kind of youtube uh, watching youtube getting influenced out of that to understand what it looks because like now this is everybody's everything is available on 
on internet, right? Doing Google search, looking at the TripAdvisor ratings and all of that, searching some blogs about like, you know, the tourism and uh, about it. Apart, apart from this, like, or like you want to validate anything is uh, additional or not incorrect, or you want to add anything, guys. Manisha, Prasanna, feel free to add. I believe we are good. Keeping time as an essence. Absolutely. I believe we yeah, 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 yeah. forward yeah. with uh, data. So I think we, we understand uh, the concept, yeah. NK. So this is something that we have to do for every step, right? If... Correct, correct. Now, so let's complete this search and planning probably. So call phone friend and this and that. So what actions you have took, you, you did, like you, you have used internet, right? Yes. So for example, very simple that if, you're, if your hotel is not online, that you are out of the game. Very simple. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. Right. So, so next is like, you know, are, are you like on, uh, like, you know, the actions being taken, like, you know, search on the tree for devices, right? Yeah. So my, like I'm in my, my head, like <laughs> all the questions are also coming. Like, you know, are we on search? Like is your hotel? We, of course list? we are. In in yes. the in the scenario itself, we have mentioned that TripAdvisor ratings are going bad, right? So we are on yeah, yeah. TripAdvisor uh, already, but right. our ratings okay. are low. So so that okay. is one thing that is uh, giving us the trouble. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So let's pick up this point then. I think like you know, just in just time, just pick this point now. So you say that while the action we found that people is actually search the TripAdvisor, mm -hmm. and uh, we are on the TripAdvisor, and our ratings are down. Why? What happened on that? So basically, if you look at the experience, did you when you search the TripAdvisor, where did you got? Like, do you got yourself on the first page, or second page, or third page? So in in terms of hotel perspective, that's it. And if I talk about uh, persona, uh, Prasanna's persona, I think this is the uh, most uh, tedious job and where everything gets lost. That sometimes I don't even. Uh, Prasanna doesn't even plan the trip because uh, the experience is so bad uh, that he he has to search. Okay, so there is no such place where he can get all the information that this is the visa that you would need. Uh, this is a good hotel that you can pick. In this budget, you can get everything. So there's no one place where all information is there. So there are so many places, places that I have to look. Got it. What else? I think, um, yeah, I can, I can totally agree that like, if you're trying to. Too many choices and too many options when you yeah, yeah, yeah. try to search. Yeah. Too many options. So, so I think for Prasanna or any traveler like international traveler, cause we have been into his shoes as well. Uh, the problem is too many choices and, uh, uh, frustration of not able to search everything in one go. We are still looking for everything, but we are not able to find. Yeah. Sometimes again, uh, uh, I just want to add this, like mm -hmm. while you do this exercise, you might find a repetitive of statements. That means that that's the intensity is also being measured when you, you when you do this exercise. Right. So when you have multiple people talk about the same thing, you have to record that it, it doesn't mean that Oh, I think this person has already said that. So it's fine. Just leave it. Just do it uh, this way. Uh, it, it's a continuous process. You just keep it adding because at the end, it will help us to understand that, hey, you know, what are the key repetitive things that is coming up that you need to take mm -hmm. action on. Right. Yeah. I and um, and I think uh, then again, towards the end of this, what would the be the feeling? Like, is that the right em emoji for that? Yeah. <laughs> or was something better? A little uh, bit better maybe. If, if there was a red color in it yeah <laughs> annoyance would be better i think yeah yeah so yeah i think like anger and <laughs> i would not put that way but, but that's okay uh, but it happens yes. it happens like you know you i want to hmm. do this man means like well, i'm not getting what i need um, out of this exercise but right. but what you just start googling and doing it and what would be the one word Maybe like Atul, you want to try this, like, how do you feel that experience while searching and not getting everything on, on a single uh, location? And specifically in, in the situation of a COVID, you know, I traveled from India to Indonesia during the COVID situation. 
and i know how much the pain was during the, like the travel options and the regulations in each and everything has been changing every 14 hours every 24 hours you have to take like take a pcr test and you know it's it's very crazy things but right yeah coming back how overwhelmed 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 with the information uh and then confused confused and overwhelmed at the same time <laughs> confused over well i think uh, that will describe yeah prasanna you want to add or validate anything on this one yeah so we are saying here we don't have not all information are available and yeah say that um, so here yeah. you will just add like uh, prasanna wanted uh, to get information right uh, yeah. wanted to get wanted, information at one page uh, wanted all information wanted to get relevant information i mean relevant information. Right. Yep. yeah very valid point at single location a single or, video maybe single video or a single blog yeah but, but not over blog also Hmm. the information apologies on my handwriting um i i fix it thanks to spell check mm-hmm. that's okay uh, nk <laughs> yeah that's fine <laughs> yeah. i hope you understand that right uh, okay great and then what was the point of delight did you had any point of delight in research and planning guys think about it yes one from the customer ahead. point of view what was the research what was the point of delight during this entire exercise for when you are doing the research and planning was it, was there any excitement yeah, uh, i what, think mm-hmm. go ahead manisha but yeah when you were finalizing the location to go you saw the pictures and you got excited excited that you will be there very soon so kind of like a feeling of being there yes yeah okay maybe okay all right what else budget uh, if once i did all my research because i'm doing research and planning something falls under my budget yeah and also the timelines timelines as in what a uh, timelines like budget and timelines that i i, I had two weeks uh, to travel uh, so i i i was able to find uh, the countries where i could travel and the hotels where i could stay so the the only point of delight is when i have actually planned everything <laughs> once my planning okay. stage is complete that is my and like uh, like manisha mentioned picture of location feeling of being there Yeah. All right. Prasanna, you want to add anything on this one? No, oh, it's okay. So it's basically that your second point itself, which matches mostly the budget, was matching what mm-hmm. we what. It's a point of delight. Yeah. Right. Got it. I think <laughs> in the problem section we could find a lot of problems right on this uh, research and planning, right? Yeah. And then uh, we it will also give you a lot of ideas also. that you want right. to track it up add it up and discuss with the team and get into that right so i just let's put some i think what i did we have already identified is that uh, uh no like uh, all information not available at single page to ease travelers right that's the biggest problem uh, absolutely hmm and then how we can help how 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 you can help to provide that information yeah. Right. we can That's get ideas good. ideas like uh, making a youtube video which um, showing the locations and everything yeah yeah manisha yeah blog video blog video so those kind of ideas can come in i think Probably. i right so some kind of a trip objective like you are coming for 7 days family trip this is all you can do uh, this is where you can be kind of in a package directly i think Number when the like, Like the it. way you guys have been mentioning this manisha and atul now currently you are in actual customer shoe and you are able to give the ideas right 
that yeah. is actually the point of doing the journey mapping yeah once we we do this desired research planning booking arriving so uh, first exercise you mentioned in the second step was till we would figure out points of delight these problems yeah. and ideas stage is something that we do it in the third and fourth part which you mentioned in your presentation right it's not yeah, like yeah, we sure. we do it at this time in general so so uh, so basically when you map it you map it all of them like so you identify the problems so right. the idea is that because you're in the first column so you just mm. complete that completely okay. ideas is something that you can leave either if you get it mm. fill in if not it's fine because then you can brainstorm it sometimes mm. happens that like whenever uh, as a customer you try to you know uh, do things the first thing that you will get is the idea how to fix it because right. for my personal persona is that whenever i see a problem i look for the solutions and i have a solution for that right. so i always wanted to fill in the idea column first right got it so, so yeah it it depends uh, but uh, like there is like no hard rule for that hmm. uh, but standard way is to make sure that like you go through the each block understand the problems problems are very very important to understand hmm. and then bring in the idea and then you vote on those ideas and understand that which one needs to be picked up at the top okay. priority and then we have to fix that yeah got it okay i think that that yeah. makes complete sense nk okay. so we have to re- repeat this exercise for like desire research planning booking arriving stay and every of those things and once it is yeah. done we have identified the problems we start voting on the problems that what are the problems that we need to pick correct yeah. and yeah. then once those problems come in then we generate ideas like atul and manisha and prasanna were mentioning and then yeah. those ideas can be validated again with the actual customer that is that consumer research that you were talking about right correct correct okay yeah and I, like while uh, we will just wanted to add up a couple of things i hope mm-hmm. uh, these two blocks making up you are able to reach out to somewhat closer to the customer and mm-hmm. anticipated that when you are actually sitting and doing it uh, with with your colleagues and you know and brainstorming to your business user specific persona because this particular persona is slightly different than your actual business right um so when you pick up your specific business user persona and try to figure out and bang on things you'll be able to relate them much much more better and get more insightful analysis that can easily help your business to take decisions that is much much more a uh, useful so in in the Absolutely. specifically i'm talking about the cx space so if you want to increase your customer satisfaction or like an increase your nps score if you, and you're trying to identify new opportunity where what so some some question i think like it came uh, it reminds me a question that somebody asked me that like how what could i do to delight my customer means like means like like we are doing good but we don't know what could what should we do better how we can delight my customer so this is the exercise when you do it you will be able to identify the areas to understand which is the most delightful experience that you could provide them and i think this is a great idea and one more thing before we close it wanted to share that is in the experience journey you see that mm-hmm. so what i generally do is you know just we mm-hmm. design this as an expected so you you want that desire is this uh, right. i didn't want it to be like this so this is actually your perceived this is actual but i this wanted this to be somewhere in the second row acceptance should be somewhere here somewhere here so you see the gap uh, what was actually perceived uh, right. as a brand what i wanted to provide to my customer mm-hmm. uh, experience to those specific touch points and what exactly when i feel as a customer what exactly has been delivered so i find that gap there and then we try to understand how we reduce that gap and to focus on those areas and if you try to, if you say that which elements to work as a top so that's mm-hmm. another way that wherever the gap is higher that is the most right. important factor that you need to focus on absolutely okay. so that yes. makes complete sense so once you get this actual journey then yeah. you define a kind of like a goal that what kind of experience you wanted to give and yeah. then see where the gaps are missing so Uh, yeah. that so, that will help you prioritizing stuff okay so there will yeah. be two lines mm-hmm. there will be two lines that will cross like you know uh, Got it. cross this and that will give you the give you the gaps across each uh, touch point experience okay and in nk in some of these points like desire searching planning booking and if we have uh-huh. more points there will be times when we don't have answers to that right 
in those cases what what should we do like let's suppose you first mention uh, research and planning separately and then arriving accommodation there are so many things that you mentioned for a product for a different app it could be anything else a block anything could else. be anything else if we don't yeah. have an answer for it then what it should be our next step that means we are missing something right yeah the best is uh, the best the best one is the customer interview okay and uh, like i think uh, that will exactly give you the uh, stages that you want to cover up uh, mm-hmm. and things that you want to cover up touch points in the greater detail i always been a fan of a customer interview uh, right. in doing any exercises because that really gives uh, the sense of uh, things you know that you really want to do yeah okay uh, okay so wherever research is missing you you go for customer interviews and confirm that right customers are your greatest research source of truth okay and if if we have like if if it's a b2c brand if the customers are many then your idea would be to take feedback on all these stages is it yeah so install can, feedback collect, mechanism collect <laughs> b2c is slightly uh, um i would say that uh, slightly different way uh, but now these days in 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 the current era of uh, digitization mm-hmm. b2c is a, a kind of a new b2b right because the brands are directly uh, like you know interacting with them and have a right source to collect feedback from them right, right. so more personalization more mm. personalization right it's mm. more uh, so i i feel like it's more of b2c somewhere is like getting into the b2b because b2c every customer is important right so right. like in b2b you take care that um, every customer is important you provide you know delightful experience for them you are much more careful for them because like it's a high clv value customer right. while b2c is like very short and you know small value but looking at the power of digitization the people have got word of mouth you know and all of that b2c the you know the focus has always been like in a higher and higher on this on the, okay. in the current situation okay and so uh, nk once we, like all if if i have to just uh... Uh, once we are ending the actual workshop right where we have all the points we have uh, uh, generated all the pain points as well like all touch points everything that is happening at a touch point where the experience is low once we have all everything in the end by the end and we are talking about the idea stage once those ideas are finalized what would be the next step like how will you how will we make sure that these are these are the things that are acted upon so how would we end that part the last part um yeah i'm just going to bring up my previous slide uh, to share that to you mm-hmm. is basically is when the ideas are generated right and then you have a action plan required then you add this into your voc program okay so your voc program will help you out to measure the actions that you are taking throughout the step mm-hmm. and see that whether your needle is moving toward the success or not and then it's and it is not like you know you got the idea you implement it uh, and then you got success if it if it is that way then every would everyone would have been successful right right but it it is the actual it is actually a journey you know so when you get an idea you implement it and you see the reaction you see the growth what you're getting out of this and then take action out of that and then reiterate the process reiterate that what could be done because and and you have to uh, like you know take action faster right mm-hmm. don't like d- delay this and that is why we say that if you have multiple ideas pick up some top ideas and take action so action mm-hmm. needs to be somewhat sooner for example if earlier that if someone says uh, <clears throat> that uh, if if you want if you want to get delivery you know when you are in hotel like if you go into hotel and uh, if you are waiting for uh, a dinner right how much fast do you want that to be served like it has been like a great a point of conversation that earlier like it it was okay that if you see the queue is there um like you know 45 minutes is, is an average time that has been found like on the most of the restaurant but what if you are delighted to get in next 20 minutes if somebody some organization has put a goal that mm-hmm. a dinner would be served in 15 minutes on the arrival 
and so what the, these are the kind of ideas uh, these yeah. are the kind of ideas that yes. will come in yes okay. yes so basically change in the strategy could also come defining defining something new can also come something revolutionary can come into the picture that can drive and differentiate your organization to to the other organization that 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 then then you can just like leap away okay so generate ideas number one is done validate with additional research you already mentioned that validate those ideas with customers and then you do once you are talking about action planning and assigning ownership this is something that the team who's who's going to be responsible for that touch point uh, yeah. okay and what so, what do you mean by measure the impact nk how would you measure an impact great question so i think like uh, it it comes all boils down to your uh, who owns your customer experience program like mm-hmm. i think if you relate that to my previous session that what we discussed is that who is actually owning this right right so that person would need to relate that like is is that you are relating your impact into your business metric or you are relating this into your customer centric metric is your csr scores are increasing your nps mm-hmm. scores are increasing you are getting more hits on the website or you are you know increase the ratings on your app reviews right so yes, you'll yes. have to measure that this action has resulted into that right okay so so the person who is actually designing the voc program would define that hey you know we are taking this action this is anticipated hmm. output we are expecting right because that is why okay. we set the goal for that like if you are, hmm. if you have improved for example that in in our current exercise if you have improved your housekeeping services mm-hmm. like i was not able to go into the depth but understanding like when the customer has check in the check in process is like on the mobile device itself no queue nothing you know uh, it, it's going to increase your response like you know satisfaction Got in it. the bed you have like water free like some of the some of the hotels they charge for you know water so these are the complimentary services uh, that you can offer uh, to mm-hmm. to your uh, customers that can increase it so a lot of ideas would come through during this exercise that you can implement that mm-hmm. will enhance your entire overall customer experience okay and uh, oh, got it so measuring impact is like just looking at the csat scores after uh, you have implemented something in a 3 to 6 months time you see if these are increasing or not i get it and if there is still anything left after the watching those reviews we can iterate the idea that or the design the plan that we have set up yeah i think just want mm-hmm. to uh, make it a thin line clarification on the iterate portion is yes. mm-hmm. so basically iterate does does it mean that uh, when you see there is a shift into mm-hmm. a direction because if you like i said earlier that i don't want to contradict because earlier we said that is uh, we do this journey mapping once in a year means it's not like a quarterly function right quarterly festival that you want to do that so review and iterate means is basically when you have defined certain actions mm-hmm. and you have defined the metrics to watch it in the business and customer both right and then you look at the results and if there is in between in the market certain strategies are changing some you know like for example 2020 was a digitization covid when covid came back uh, like not came back don't tell me not came back <laughs> i don't wish it came back so uh, so when the covid has hit the world basically all the processes and the thought process everything was changed a little simultaneously immediately right and that is where somebody would have to take a look right uh, what going to happen and now again this has given us a very good example that um like some of the organization i'm i'm sure that uh, in the operation side uh, if you're if you're in the operation side you would know that bca business continuation and like you know uh, agreement or like business bca process that we follow in organization so some of the industries had ever thought of like certain uh, you know thing would come that will stop people moving from here and there and what will happen to their business at the time right so in, in the next episode we'll talk about uh, important metrics involved in a voc program uh, like uh, customer metrics and business metrics so we discuss about csat and we also discuss about business goal in this journey mapping so we'll deep dive into this and also we'll talk about how we can correlate both of them together that if customer metric is going on how it is impacting on the business metric 
So we really appreciate your time today, and I hope you find this episode valuable. Please, your comment on the post or send a direct message to us with any questions that you have, and we'll uh, see you all uh, next week then.